and I am here to tell you the only reason you are not as talented of a seamstress as your mother or your grandmother is because you haven't taken the time to learn how. Hey everybody, welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. And in this video, I really wanted to have kind of a sewing chat, just talking about something that's been on my mind lately. And I kind of just want to share a message with y'all especially if you don't sew but you're kind of interested in it or if you're someone who you're constantly dealing like me with people who don't sew who don't really get what you do or they just kind of feel like it's not for them and that's kind of why i started this channel is because i never thought i was someone who would start sewing i never thought this would be my thing or my hobby or my obsession but here i am and it totally is and i think that's the thing that i found out when i started doing it was once I was in it, I was like, wow, this is so much cooler than I ever thought. I want to do this all the time, which now I do. I felt like from the outside looking in, I really couldn't understand what sewing was, what making was, what creating was, until I started experiencing it for myself, learning, doing. And, and that's the thing, you're never really going to be able to do something unless you put in the time, the effort, and the energy into learning how. So, I used to work in an office. I'm a former TV news producer. What I found when I started to sew, I was over 30, but still I worked with mostly people who were probably under 35, under 30. So I worked with a lot of people who were in their like early to mid 20s. And I got this a lot. When I would tell people I sewed, they would say, you know what, that's awesome. You know, my grandma sewed, but I could never learn how. Or they would say, my mother sews beautifully but I could never learn how. And that's something that I've run into it over and over again since I've started telling people that I sew is people just think, you know what, I have a relative who does it, I have a friend or a mom or a mother-in-law who does it, but you know, it's just not for me. I could never learn how, you know, it's impossible. And I'm here to tell you, and that's really the whole purpose behind this whole channel, the sewing report, is that you absolutely can. There is no, like there's zero reason why you should not be able to sew. I mean, I've seen articles about people who lo lost the use of their arms, so they now sew with their forehead. I mean, in 2019, with all of the free, yes, free resources available to you online, I feel like there's not much of an excuse for you not to know how to do something. Because when I'm trying to figure out how to do anything, I look up videos on it. I, I go to YouTube and I look up, you know, how do you uh, install a car wheel cover, which is something I recently conquered. And you can figure out pretty much anything you want. You don't have to pay anyone for it. The information is free. Of course, there are paid classes. There's in-person sewing classes. There are online classes. I also have a blueprint subscription. So in fact, I was just watching a class earlier today on sewing with lace. But I guess that's the thing that I don't understand with, with other people is when they say something like that to me, you know, my grandma sewed, but I could never learn how, I feel like it's such a cop out. And if that's you, I'm not trying to criticize you, but I am trying to encourage you. When your grandmother or your mother started to sew, when they were beginners, they were at the same spot you were in. They didn't know how to sew either until someone taught them and until they practiced and learned how. So I just kind of wanted to make this video to tell you if this is you, if this is something you wanna do, if this is something you're interested in, whether it be sewing, whether it be pottery, whether it be crocheting, anything you wanna do, if you really wanna do it, just do it. Don't think about doing it for six months and then do it like I did. Just dive in, watch tutorials, try to look things up, just, get started because you're never going to get anywhere with anything in your life unless you get started and start doing it. Now, I by nature can procrastinate with some things. I know all of us can, but that's just something I really want to share with you. And I, I just want to encourage you to do is if there is something in your life that you would like to accomplish, go out and figure out how, because there's nothing stopping you from doing it especially not now with everything available at your fingertips. I mean, I'm so jealous of people who are younger than me, people who are in their teens and 20s because they have access to so much more information than I did at that age. I'm so jealous. So if that is you, please don't, don't waste your time. 
don't waste your youth without without learning some of those things. They're so valuable to you, especially skills like sewing. This is something that is enjoyable, it's productive, it's so creative, and it is a form of art. So I just, I just think that when I hear people saying that, it kind of breaks my heart because it doesn't have to be that way. You can sew too. You don't have to be one of those people who don't know how to do something because there is a way for you to learn how. There's a way for you to practice. There are, and I mean, granted, there are things you do need to purchase, but you can borrow them. You can go to your friend's house if they have a sewing machine. You can go to your grandmother's house. I'm sure your grandmother would love, like absolutely love to teach you some of what she knows. And that's something that I feel like I did not take advantage of enough when I was younger. And that is a regret that I will probably always have. So yes, I know I'm getting a little bit maybe a little too like heart to heart here, but this is just something that I've really been thinking about and it's been weighing on my my mind lately. So I just kind of feel like I have to put it out there and, and just talk about it because I just run into so many people who, who could learn how to do something. You could learn how to change a flat tire. You could learn how to play golf. You can learn how to make a quilt. And I feel like a lot of these folks put up these like barriers that stops them from doing it, but they're not really barriers. They're just more like self-imposed barriers that don't really exist, but they're kind of putting it out there. Like, you know what? My grandmother sewed, I'm not as good as her. And I am here to tell you the only reason you are not as talented of a seamstress as your mother or your grandmother is because you haven't taken the time to learn how. If you're watching this video, you're checking out this channel and you're like, hey, this seems kind of cool do it. Do it today. Don't wait. And don't be one of those people who always wants to do something but never takes any action to do it. Take the action, take the initiative, and dive in because this is a really amazing world and once you're in it, you're going to be so, so happy you decided to join it. So anyways, I know this is a little bit a little bit off the beaten trail here. And yes, I may be trying to enable you to watch more YouTube. There is nothing wrong with YouTube, right? But for all my sewing friends out there, I would also like to get your input and your suggestions. What do you do to encourage people who, who might not think they have what it takes to sew, quilt, make things? What kind of things do you tell them and how do you encourage those people in your life? Leave those thoughts below in the comments. I just kind of wanted this to be a bit of a chatty video and that is exactly what it is. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to The Sewing Report for everything sewing crafts and DIY projects. I'm Jennifer Moore and I'll see you guys next time.